don't mind the makeup. I'm killing two birds in one stone right now <laughs> with filming videos at least. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? So this is my second video, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan and everything, of uh, BB month on my channel. So I'm super excited for this one and honestly a little nervous. So to be truthful guys, I'm definitely stepping out of my comfort zone with this uh, video just because I've honestly never done anything like this and challenging myself and pushing myself a little bit. So if you read the title below, it is BBB fan art. So as we all know from the BBB ARMY community, we see so much beautiful fan art of the band and there are some amazing talented people out there who do amazing fan art of the band. Like I am just in awe every time I see it. So as some of you guys know, yes, I am an art teacher. I do teach art and yes, I do art for fun in my art studio from time to time. I have done a couple of Black Belt Brides fan art. You can definitely check out that video if you want to. Um, definitely my style of art is Obviously my style, uh, faces are probably the challenging things I pretty much do. Faces are probably the hardest things any artist can do and especially of your idols. And so when I, when I do Ellie's Black Phil Bright fan art, I stress over it so much because I'm just thinking in my head, it has to look like them. It has to look like them. They are pretty much icons in this industry. It has to look like them. So I'm really a really bad judge of myself when it comes to at least my own fan art of a Blackfield bread. But recently I made this fan art and I've kind of been diving into the style, which I call Fruity Tootie. I explained that in that video. I really wanted to give back to uh, the Blackfoot Brides army, the community, the fans. And I do talk to some fans here and there and I like consider them friends. And I just wanted to give them like a small BBB gif in a way. So I painted them their favorite Blackfoot Brides members fan art for them and throughout this video you'll see the process of me measuring, drawing, and painting and shipping them and hopefully I will get some photos of them receiving their artwork and just some seeing their reactions and stuff so ah, I'm super nervous I've never done anything like this before but I'm excited for this so I hope you guys like this video and for my friends the fans the uh, part of the BBB army who got my artwork of the favorite band I hope you guys like it, and I know I didn't have to do it, but I really wanted to, so I hope you guys like it. So, ah, here we go, into my art process. Let's go to the art studio. So I will be using acrylic, so with acrylic, I need to use my go-to acrylic paper. I love this paper, it's about nine by 12 size, and you can find this paper in any art store. And so with my pencil and my trusty eraser and my ruler, I'm gonna make myself a grid for all of these fan arts. Love using grid just because it helps me uh, set everything right in proportional wise and then afterwards gonna look at the photo and then just look at the general shapes of the faces hair accessories clothing and try my best to make it look good this one in particular the hand of andy was very hard hands are hard in general that's just me i know other other artists out there in the world love doing hands me on the other hand try to avoid it like the plague but i'm doing it anyway all right, here are most of them all drawn out to the best of my abilities that I can right now. I'm trying very hard. And so let's get into the painting process. So for the painting process, I really like to focus first on the skin tones. My art teacher growing up always told me to start with your skin tones because once you make that color, it's gonna be pretty challenging to make it again. And so I definitely start with my base skin tone highlights and then I definitely go into the darker, the shades, the values, the contour as you would say.
Once I get the general skin tone all kind of nice mapped out, I like to go into the accessories, the clothing, the hair. Um, I love doing the clothing, especially when it comes to black though, or anything black, just because they're black accessories and clothing. So when I do their black hair or clothing, I do it in multiple layers just to get that nice, rich, dark pigmented and having all the details there of the values and also the lights and darks in their black clothing. I love doing the hair last just because it's so satisfying to do and also the eyes. You know, it comes and goes. I like doing the eyes last, I like doing the hair last. Number two, so this one's definitely Lonnie. Uh, the photo I chose that he has online is definitely black and white. So this one I definitely stayed in just the black and white areas, which I actually kind of prefer better than skin tones because it's just easier for me. But again, just with the black, all the blacks, I go with layers and layers. I kind of make my acrylic paints into like a watercolor. So I do one layer, wait until it dries, do another layer to get the, all the nice dark effects. And then I focus on one section, making sure I get all the highlights, the value tones, and any little details in there. And then I go to another another section. number three so this one was probably the trickiest and challenging one I've done just because this photo is not only Andy and his amazing bone structure I swear every time I try to do Andy it does not look like him but I'm trying so hard every single time but this one has a lot of like different values and light tones and just the shading in the photo so it was very tricky and especially with the claw and his actual hand again hands I don't specialize but I was trying and overall I didn't do half bad, so there's that. <laughs> My last painting, so this one is of Andy again, but I actually quite enjoy this one. Maybe it's just because I've been practicing drawing him. This one actually is like the closest I get to look like him, but this one I actually enjoyed painting a lot, so. <laughs> finally all nice and dry gonna start packing them up and let's mail them through the mail tomorrow Here we go. Here we go.